the 2024 Pan Am Masters, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, for individuals 30 years and over. So uh, it's a little different than most Masters events, which are 50. It's every four years. There were 75 countries, nearly 30 sports, and it's a flagship for the IMGA, which is the International Masters Games Association. Uh, it's officially the world's largest international participatory multi-sport event. Pretty amazing. Again, this was held in Cleveland, Ohio, Caldwin Wallace uh, Auditorium. Of course, we had all the tr uh, track and field events. Uh, didn't cover all the field events, but there were some great high jumping, but you know, there was also your triple jumps and long jumps. Even while the high jumps going on in the background there, you can see them setting up for track events. Uh, lots of competition in the long jump. Gave you the results right away. Uh, great track people from so many countries so it was uh, very competitive and lots of energy out on the field uh, lots of women participating in the events there were just You can see uh, lots of different countries represented. I certainly didn't get uh, an indication of the photos of all of them, but great award ceremonies. This was a 90 year old, 94. We're here with Tina King. Pemberton. Pemberton. <laughs> yes. At the Pan Am Games 2024. Uh, so Tina, we are just interested in how maintaining your health and fitness has helped the quality of your life. And tell us a little bit about how you have done that, maintained health and fitness. Well, I feel like your health is your wealth. I am a registered nurse, so I am an advocate of being proactive in your health so you do not have to be reactive in your health. Yes, Re great. Regardless of what you do, you wanna make sure you get out and do something. I actually participate in track and bodybuilding and I've also done powerlifting, and I played professional football for the Pittsburgh Passion. Wow, <laughs> I love it. And you, wasn't your husband uh, also an athlete? My ex-husband is Rudy Pemberton, and he played professional baseball for the Boston Red Sox oh, and so went all up through the whole Michigan, uh, Detroit, Michigan, A-ball, Detroit Tigers um, facility. Wow. So it certainly runs in the family. Yes, it does. <laughs> Any children? Yes, our son Rudy Jr., he does track. He loved it so much, he did cross country, indoor, outdoor, and also swimming and soccer. Wow, <laughs> I love it. And uh, so maintaining your health and fitness is a passion with you, obviously. It is a passion because, again, as I stated earlier, your health is your wealth. And currently, I am running track. Uh, last year, I did a couple of bodybuilding um, competitions. I participate in all natural competitions that have to be drug tested. It is a lot of work, regardless to maintain your health, but once you get into the rhythm of it, it is like, it becomes habit, like brushing your teeth. Yeah, that's that's what we try and, in, you know, inform people that if they create the habit, mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, I, I trick myself by the fact that every day in my calendar I have to write down what I did. Yes. And I don't want to put a big zero. Yes. So even if I don't feel good, I might say, well, I'll just go a block. And then once I started, I can, I can continue. It totally becomes an addiction, addiction an addiction, yes. a healthy addiction. Yes. Um, everything, again, in moderation. You do still have to give yourself time to have a day or two off so you do not become injured. It's okay to have uh, the lactic acid buildup, that, that kind of muscle fatigue pain, but not injurious, where you, you feel like you're being injured. So you want to do everything in moderation. But I love it because I feel like at my age, I am 59, and it is, your health is, again, your wealth, but it's also an investment that pays really good dividends. And a lot of times uh, we're dealing with uh, 
extra diseases and conditions that if you were moving and up and moving regardless of your ability would be eliminated such as high blood pressure, right. diabetes, things that can be controlled. Now things that we can't control is one thing, but there are things we can control and also modify. Yes, that's very good information. You said you're a nurse, right? Yes, I'm a registered <laughs> nurse. Um, I love it. About to be in school for my nurse practitioner. And oh. so I, again, proactive versus becoming reactive. And the choice, what's beautiful is you're able to make that choice before yes. the choice has to be made for you. Yes, my daughter just became a, graduated as a nurse practitioner. Okay, One congratulations. Of my daughters, I four. That's my, that's my aspiration. <laughs> and two boys. I love it. Uh, so you found, have you ever had to have an injury and being in good condition helped you kind of get through it a little easier? Yes, um, I tore my ACL playing football and my legs, my, my legs stayed swollen for a while. But once I started incorporating weight training, which I've always done, yeah. uh, I was doing squats, the swelling went down enormously. It was almost like it was a total 360 degree turnaround. Wow. So what would you say to that person out on the couch watching this video <laughs> that says, you know, she can do it, but I just, you know, I just don't. It's about will. Okay. Um, if you want to, you will do. Uh, like, um, you can't just wish for it. You do have to work for it. Yes. The first day, the first week, the first month will not be easy, but habits are developed over a process of being repeated for 30 days at least. Yes. And um, whatever it is you're doing right now, it's only going to, being in good health and getting up and moving is only going to enhance your quality of life. You're gonna feel better, you're gonna perform better, you're gonna look better, it just, and you're gonna see the world as a better place yeah. because it totally, uh, gives you a certain type of a different type of outlook that's nothing but positive now it doesn't mean we don't have negativity in our life yeah. but it will help you overcome it and uh, have the strength to deal with it um, through your faith and through just being a lot more energetic that is that is so encouraging and you just said through your faith yes. tell me about your faith well I am Christian and I was raised Christian and four things well three things but four that are my values one, my faith, two, my family, and three, my peace, which would also be my happiness. The yeah. fourth one would also be time. You cannot get time back. So the time to move yeah. is now. The time to believe is now. Because yeah. if you believe it, you can't achieve it. Yes, and you know, we, uh, we our, our ministry is to encourage people to look into the truth of the Christian faith because that's where we spend eternity. Yes. I mean, here on earth being fit certainly helps our quality of life yes now, it does but that's that's short compared to eternity and it also relates back to faith in the bible your body is your temple yeah your body is your temple and it is to be respected don't get me wrong we all like junk food here and there but yes. everything in moderation think about what you're putting into your temple because if you eat junk you're going to feel like junk yes. you're going to produce junk <laughs> and that's where it is. Don't get me wrong. I like my potato chips and french fries and <laughs> honey buns. I like all that in moderation. Yes. But your body is a temple. And when you decide to give your life to Christ through your body, through first offerings, then everything will come down to it. I prayed to start loving to run again when I was in process for my bodybuilding competition. Yes. And here I am going into my second year running, collecting gold medals I and learning and beating people and fellowshipping with people that are like-minded. And yes. it's very, very enriching in all aspects. That is so encouraging. I, uh, I just appreciate your enthusiasm, uh, the, the message that you have for so many people. We hope that it will take root get up and move get up and move. that's why god gave you two legs i don't want to hear about oh my hip oh my knee i have a torn acl yeah. okay and there are people that i see out here running every day that have survived cancer they've survived hip replacements yeah. they've survived other tragedies whether it was being held captive or getting out of prison going to prison seeing loved ones go to prison die yeah. death divorce all kind of things that are negative they're yeah. out here running every day like it was nothing yeah, so I've, I've had both knees replaced myself. See? <laughs> and also the Paralympics. You watch the Paralympics. Yeah. These people with no limbs out here running. Yeah. So there's no excuse. It's yeah. mind over matter. I love it. <laughs> that is so good. Any final thing you'd want to say to that person out there watching? Get up and move. Or if you're, if you're going through something, I'm telling you, exercising, running, walking, bowling, 
gardening it is all very therapeutic you don't need any I, I don't totally encourage uh, taking medicine because some things medicine is not going to cure it actually masks now I'm not against it um, everything at your doctor's advice but I'm telling you once you get up and start moving it's gonna alleviate a lot of problems whether it's mental physical or any other aspect of your life Amen. that is so good thank you so much you're welcome thank you John it was so much nice meeting you and I thank you so much for this uh, I, this opportunity. God bless everybody and thank you. Uh, we want to thank you for watching RedefiningAging.us. I'm John Districk, your host. And our goal for the series is pretty simple. We just want to enhance the quality of people's lives. So if you know of an event that you think would uh, be one for good, uh, good for us to cover, please fill out the form on our website and not only the event and what it is, where it is, when it is, and uh, if there's a person you know that you think would be uh, a good person for me, us to do a testimony on in some event, please let us know. And if you want a fuller description of my testimony, you can either go to johndisterdick.com and look under ministry or you can go here at redefiningaging.us we appreciate your viewership god bless and hope to see you on more shows